your channel growth depends on one thing. Upload, upload, upload. And upload again. Now, the first thing you want to look at is what type of cameras you're using. Because certain types of cameras give you good quality. Like I use the G7A right here. And it gives it's a vlog, it's a vlogging camera, so I can just flip it up and there it is. I'm talking, I can see myself talking. That was two times I had some cameras I was using. I wouldn't know what I looked like until that was a 30, Sony 30X and Sony 60X. I didn't know what I looked like until I turned it back on and I finished. Took everything down and I looked like, look at me. Could you look at this? Look like the book fell down in the back, you know, things like that. So, I use a vlogging camera a lot. I use this uh, 65 Canon uh, HD because it, can, it gives you 200, but the rain goes out 200 feet. And you get the same quality as if you were sitting right in front of you. So I use that for a long range. And then I have the Hero. But I hardly ever use the Hero because I need to get a monitor system, but that's okay. I use the Hero when I just need a wide shot. And I go back and see what part of the wide shot I can use. When I was in film school um, in my town, physics workshop courses. I use YouTube University a lot now. Well, YouTube University is just all the different channels that give you information on how to do this and how to do that. And they're very good at it. And it's free. Well, I use the, um, they say it just gets a shot. Whatever you do, get the shot. Get you some phone books, get you some cups, do whatever to get the shot. So that's what I do. Now, the next thing is lighting. What I use is natural light a lot. That's why I be driving a lot. I love the natural light. But sometimes it be cloudy, sometimes it be raining, whatever. I use natural light. Now, if you're inside like I am today, I use the ring light. The ring light can give you so many different ways you can use it because you can go dim, you can go a line light blue, you can go semi-white, you can go dim all the way, and right here, this is all light. I like it. Now I use this other lighting camera right here, it's a square lighting, give you a lot of light. It almost blind you look like when you film it. But it's a good $49 camera, 47 whatever. The, the uh, ring light is very expensive. I'm going to give me a bigger one so I can put it right in front of me. So I can get all the light I need on the inside. But whatever light is, and here's the light. Make sure I have everything that I need. And um, make sure it's the lighting kit that you really, that work well for you. That give you that quality of light that you need. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is editing. What editing software do you use? Now, iMove is good. Nothing wrong with it. I used to use Avid. Avid is more professional. Um, End of the video. I have to start all over. So guess what? When I did that, I used to just turn the computer off and wait till the next day. But Avid is good if you use that. Now me, now I use Filmora. It's called Wondershare. I use that for all of my all of my uh, effects. I love Filmora's effects. I use AVS for my video editing because it is so simple to use. Software editing package that you are comfortable with, use it. It could be Premiere Pro, it could be a 
Rick and Moore, it could be ABS, it could be, what are some of the other ones? There's a lot of them out there, you all. I just ran into one the other day, it's free. It's called, um, Film Something. Film Something, but it's free. So, use it, learn it, go to H uh, YouTube University, it'll teach you everything you can know about that software package. I guarantee you it will. And as a beginner, you will know how to set up the quality of your light, get the good quality camera, and good quality energy. And that's what you need. And then you add your content, and voila, you ready to rock and roll. That's it. That's all you need as a beginner. Make sure you have everything that's comfortable for you. And if you can, like I did, I went to a HMS, Houston Media Source, here in Houston. And they taught me all the basics and foundations of filming and editing and getting a shot and getting direct sunlight and the natural light and all of that. They taught me all of that. And I appreciate them for that. They taught me how to write scripts and, and all kinds of things. And I loved it for that. But it wasn't a five-year course. It was like six weeks. And then, what did I do? And what did I do? I went to YouTube University. I learned everything else I knew. So listen, I hope I help you. I hope that we help you as how to grow your channel. I have another video talking about how to grow your channel as far as subscribers and viewers and things like that. Uh, make sure you use uh, social media, Facebook, Facebook,